Hi, Ed Friedland, the Bass Whisperer here once again for Guitar World Magazine. This month we're looking at the Eastwood Guitars Airline Map Bass. Well, the Airline Map Bass is sort of a tribute to the National Newport Guitar from 1962. There was also a bass model very similar to this produced back in that time called the Valpro 85. All these instruments were being manufactured by a company called Valco and they had the brand National was the, the big sort of general brand behind all of it. They marketed the same instruments under the name Supro, which was a stripped down version, more of the budget line. Uh, the airline brand name went to Montgomery Ward department stores and uh, there are still a few of these instruments floating around out there but Eastwood Guitars has recreated this instrument with a few modern improvements that make this really a gig ready instrument for today's world. Let's hear the Eastwood Airline Map Bass played finger style and just the front pickup. Finger style, both pickups straight up in the middle. Now finally we'll hear the finger style tone bridge pickup only. Well, you can see why they call this the map base because the shape of the body is vaguely reminiscent of the continental United States. Here's Maine, there's the East Coast, there's Pennsylvania, down here, there's the state of Florida. And then, of course, the West Coast kind of looks like a Les Paul, so there you go. The original airline bases and guitars were made out of a material called resoglass, which was essentially a polycarbonate resin mixed with fiberglass. The new airlines are made out of mahogany. It's a mahogany body, nicely chambered, which gives it kind of a light feel to it, as well as giving it somewhat of a hollow body tone. The airline map has Grover styled enclosed gear tuners with 3 8 inch posts. The Bound Rosewood fingerboard has big block genuine mother of toilet seat inlays and the maple neck is bolted onto the mahogany body. The chambered mahogany body has a nice carved top with a cream colored binding that goes all the way around. There are two very powerful humbuckers, three position switch to switch between, separate volume, volume, and tone. There is a tunematic style bridge, which is a nice touch. Many of these short scale instruments from the old days had just a straight wooden bridge going across, which made playing them in tune somewhat of a challenge. The tunematic bridge allows you to set up very precise intonation. Check this out.
wouldn't want to try that on one of the originals. This bass plays so well in tune that you can even play chords in the upper register. The Eastwood Airline Map Bass also sounds great pick style. Let's hear the pick tone back on the front pickup only. Now let's hear the pick style tone, both pickups up straight in the middle. Finally, we'll hear the pick style tone on just the bridge pickup. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our look at the Eastwood Guitars Airline Map Bass. I think it's a really cool instrument. It looks awesome. It's got a lot of great sounds in it. You could play rock, blues, country, reggae, you name it, anything you want. It's fun to play. It's easy to play. Eastwood has really engineered this to be a modern, playable instrument with classic looks and classic tone. Way to go.